So you're dying for a hamburger, some dogs, and sides, right? But it's 90 degrees out and it's humid. You don't want to go outside and grill, do you? No. You're going to use your air fryer. So let's get started. So I got some frozen Bubba burgers. I usually do fresh pressed, but I had a gathering and uh, I have some leftover frozen ones. So I'm going to do them. They're not too bad. Not as good as the fresh pressed, but not bad. I got some all beef uh, hot dogs from Ballpark. And I got my uh, buns laid out and we'll toast those as well. I am going to start the burgers first because those will take probably 15 minutes to cook and I'll drop the dogs in 5 to 10 minutes into the cook. Don't need to spray the pan. Burgers don't seem to stick. So we got the two in there. Pop those right in. Do 370 for 15 minutes and we'll check it in 5. Got my Cameco bamboo cutting board. We're going to start to prep some sides. Mandolin. Okay, first things first. We need a uh, half a green cabbage. And I am not going to take credit for this simple dish here. This I got off from uh, Kirby's Fish and Grill. Go check out Kirby's page. I'll put a link in the description. He does a great job with everything. So we'll take half of this, that looks like half. Kirby's coleslaw also called for half of a small uh, red slash purple cabbage. However, they only had one size, so I am just going to cut it a little less than half. Maybe about there. That looks nice. He also mentions to grab a couple of carrots. Carrots were slim picking there, I have to say, but uh, you do what you got to do, right? And I'm going to have to skim these a little bit. I do have a bunch of rabbits out in my backyard, so maybe I'll leave the scraps for them. Just going to get rid of this outer shell, because I don't know how good that is. And I'm going to rinse this stuff and I'll be right back. Alright, before we get chopping, let's take a look at those burgers. And they're going to pretty soon be ready to be flipped. I'm going to let them go another minute, and then I'm going to throw in the dogs. Now I'm going to chop these in quarters to make them easier to run through the shredder. Now you can certainly cut these. In fact, that's what Kirby does, but Kirby's an expert at cutting. I am a novice, so I'm just going to do it as I see it. take out the burgers for a second see those are good to flip so let me do that I'm also going to drop in the dogs got the three dogs here and keep this going all right these two small pieces of carrots are not shredding well, so I am going to hand cut those and chop the rest of this. Kirby, you make it look easy. That's a lot of coleslaw. Toast those up. It's going to take about six minutes to toast. Okay, let's get through these burgers and dogs. I'm going to put those back in for a minute and we're going to add some cheese. Okay, let's take this out. Yep, those look done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the cheese to the burgers. And I'm not going to turn the air fryer back on. I am just going to let the heat uh, knock it off. I'm putting regular Land Lakes White on Donna's burger. And I'm going to put some nice thick provolone on mine. Put that in and let that... I'll plug the air fryer, folks. Now to make the coleslaw dressing. We are going to use two tablespoons of mayo, two tablespoons of milk. I'm going to have to pour a little more. Don't want to dirty more than I have to. This is whole milk. A little bit more. Two teaspoons of apple cinnamon vinegar. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. 
I'm also going to add two tablespoons of sugar. We're also going to add a little salt and pepper. Start to stir that up a little bit. Be like Kirby and use a whisk. Looks and smells good. Put that aside. Fault the burgers. Nice. Buns are ready. We'll get those out. Okay, let's get these dogs out of there. One has a little bit of cheese on it. I'll take that one for myself. And burgers are going next. This one has the regular cheese. We'll set that on the outside so there's no mistaking it. This one has the ooey gooey provolone. So there you go with those. Let's finish up the coleslaw. It's quite a bit in there. Might have to make a little more dressing for it. So I am going to dump all of this dressing on the coleslaw. And I think I will need to make a little more dressing, but that's okay. We're gonna get a little one, a hot dog. And uh, I need to mix this up a little bit. I am gonna use my hands, I just washed them. Actually, a little bit of that dressing goes a long way because it all looks pretty well covered. I can always make a little more and mix it in. I do not have a hamburger sliced pickle, so I'm just going to get the whole ones and cut them. I wash my hands again, so no worries. I'm handling the hot dogs and I'm just going to cut these with the scissors. Normally two pickles is enough for two burgers, but the nice cold Vlasic pickles. So let's prep a burger here. The law states I must put mustard on the bottom of this burger. Can't go on the top. If I was to do such a heinous act, I could get arrested. Good pickles. Bun on top of that. Get myself a dog with the cheese. We're not done yet, folks. We're going to throw on uh, some of that coleslaw. There we go. Let's give it a taste. Cut dog's easiest. I'm going to give a bite of that first. Hot dog is another one of those things that do really well in the air fryer. Let's grab this burger. Love it with the provolone. Last but not least, the coleslaw, Kirby. I hope we do you proud here. I love a good coleslaw. I never liked it when I was younger, but something happened one day. Two things I need to do with the coleslaw. I get to practice my cutting, or get used to that shredder, the mandolin. And I need to make a little more dressing for it. Cool. Well, that's the good thing about making something like this to coleslaw for yourself. You should know it's good. And this is, was a pretty simple one. Two kinds of cabbage, carrots, and the dressing. The only time I usually get coleslaw that rare occasion we go to KFC maybe once a year 
and I think 99 has it. And so when I order that grilled chicken, it comes so close. I need one more thing. Here's the last piece of the puzzle. Mini corn on the cobs. Let's get those going. Never done corn on the cob in the air fryer, but it's always the first time. I'm going to stand those upright, and I'm going to do 390 for six minutes and see where that takes us. 390, six minutes, let's see where it takes us. So while the cob's going, I'm going to finish up eating here. Good dressing on the slot, Kirby. I just got to practice my cutting skills. Okay, we are going to pull this out and check it. And again, I forget to unplug the air fryer, folks. There we go. Get some corn in there. Okay, I destroyed my other plate, so I am going to first show you that corn. myself a little piece there. Now BJ's doesn't have the same corn that they used to have on the cob so this is new so we'll see how it tastes. Anyway thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget I got links in the description for anything I've used here. Uh, also, I got uh, links to my new Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. So please subscribe there if you haven't already. I do put my daily meals there that aren't on video. I try anyway. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Visit Kirby's Fish and Grill to get the uh, coleslaw recipe. He does something much better presentation job than me and he knows how to work that knife to make it look perfect. He also did um, some chicken, uh, pulled chicken with barbecue sauce in the coleslaw and it looks really good. So that's what I'm going to do next. In fact, I got plenty of coleslaw here. We'll be eating that for another day or two and I'm going to uh, try that chicken barbecue. So anyway, again, thank you. Please give it a like if you like it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I put it on the video and I will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Happy barbecuing and air frying, because that's what we did. Take care.